Welcome to a whole new world. The digital classroom of Maryland Academy. A smart class like never before. Easy learning. Happy learning. Happy children. Happy families. Little Benjamin. I think the kitty wants to come in, said Mother Golden. I hear him crying somewhere. Won't you go and let him in, Adam? Adam laid down his book and went out. The whole family looked up cheerfully, expecting to see Aladdin, their pet cat. There was a pause and then Adam came back with a white, scared face. He looked at his father without speaking. What is the matter, my son? asked Father Golden. The cat isn't there, said Adam. It's a basket, father. A basket? What does the boy mean? A long basket with something white inside and it's crying. Oh my God, said Mother Golden and she was out of the door in a flash. See there now, said Father Golden. Go and help her, some of you. The children ran towards the door but were met by Mother Golden returning. In her arms was a long basket in which was indeed something white and fluffy that cried. A baby? exclaimed Father Golden. Mother Golden lifted the child out. The baby stopped crying and looked up at her face. My heart! said Mother Golden again. Come here, girls! The girls bent forward eagerly. Look at its little hands! murmured Mary. They are like pink shells, only soft. Oh, see it moved them, Ruth. She caught her sister's arm in a sudden movement of delight. Oh, mother, Mary keep it, cried both girls at once. Mother Golden was examining the baby's clothes. Here's a note. She opened a folded paper and saw a few words written in a rough hand. His mother is dead. His father is a waster, she read aloud. It's a boy then, said Father Golden. He came forward to have a look. The question is, said Father Golden, what shall we do with him? There are places like orphanages around. We've already got five children to take care of. Oh, we could help, cried Mary. I could wash and dress him. I know I could, and I'd just love to. So could I, said twelve-year-old Ruth. We'd take turns, Mary and I. Do let's keep him, mother. In five minutes, Mother Golden was feeding the child some warm milk with a spoon. The boys were now close at her knee and watched the process with eager eyes. See him grab the spoon, said Joseph. My, isn't he strong? Can he talk, mother? Joseph, you chucklehead, said Adam, who was sixteen and knew most things. How can he talk when he hasn't got any teeth? Baby has got a tooth too, Adam, Mother Golden said. I feel it pricking through the gum this minute. I was thinking, Mother Golden said eagerly, it would be best to keep him through his teething and stomach troubles and give him a good start in the way of proper food and nursing. Children, what do you say? asked Father Golden. You are old enough to have your say, even the youngest of you. Oh, keep him, keep him! shouted the three younger children. Adam and Lemuel exchanged a glance. I guess he'd better stay, Father, said Adam. I think so, too, said Lemuel and both gave something like a sigh of relief. Then that's settled, said Father Golden. Supposing that no objection turns up. Next thing is, what shall we call this child? All eyes were fixed on the baby who now sat on Mother Golden's knee. It was a pretty picture, the rosy dimpled creature, the yellow floss ruffled all over his head, his sweet little mouth open in a beaming smile. Smiling back at him, Mother Golden's calm face in its frame of silver hair, and Father Golden in his big leather chair. The five children with their sober faces lit up with unusual excitement, a pleasant family picture. But now, 
all the light in the room seemed to center on the baby's yellow flossy curls. Agu said the baby in a gurgle. He says his name's Gu, announced Joseph. Don't be a chucklehead, Joseph, said Adam. We'd better give the child a suitable name, mother. Oh, call him Arthur, Bill, Reginald, Reginald cried the children together. I do love a Bible name, said Mother Golden. All our own children have Bible names. Let us not cut the little stranger off from this privilege. Lemuel, dear, you were named after a king, said Mother Golden. He was a good boy to his mother, and so are you. Bring the Bible and let us see what it opens at. Joseph, you are the youngest. You shall open it. Joseph opened the great brown leather Bible and, closing his eyes, laid his hand on the page. Then, looking down, he read, there is little Benjamin, their ruler, and the princess of Judah, their council, the princess of Zebulun, and the princess of Nephtali. Zebulun and Nephtali are difficult names, said Mother Golden. Benjamin shall be this child's name, little Benjamin. The Lord bless and keep him. Make things happen. Take inspired action. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow.